Hi, today I'm going to show you Aqua's new Microscanner plugin for Jenkins. Uh, I guess before we delve into that, you want to know what Microscanner is uh, and what it does. So Microscanner is a free vulnerability scanner for Docker images. Uh, it's available on GitHub. You do need to get a token to use it. But once you have the token, uh, you can use it for free and you basically embed this code into your Docker file and it runs the scan as you're running the build. Uh, and you have the option of failing the build if high severity vulnerabilities are found. So what we did is also make this available as a native plugin for Jenkins. And uh, I'm going to show you how it works. So let's start with a freestyle build of an image that I know is fine. This is an Alpine image. We can uh, look at the configuration here. And basically there's a step here in the build where you can see the, the microscanner. You can uh, determine whether you want to pass the build or fail the build if a high severity uh, vulnerability is found. And you can see that the image name is Alpine Latest. Uh, we're going to save this and build now. And let's see what happens. So uh, the build is running. It should take a couple more seconds. And in the uh, scan out link, we can see the scan report. Image is allowed. There are no vulnerabilities found. Everything is great. Uh, but this time, let's look at a pipeline example because it's cooler. We created a pipeline here. So under advanced project options, you can see the pipeline script. And in there, you can see that we are uh, including a stage called Microscanner. And the image that we're scanning is a vulnerable image with the infamous struts vulnerability. So let's go back and run this. Let's build. Again, we can see the first couple of steps went fine. And now the Aqua Microscanner is running. Okay. Let's see what happened here. Why did this fail? So as I look at the scan out report, I see that image is disallowed because it has 12 high severity vulnerabilities. We can see that there are many high severity vulnerabilities here. So let's just pick one. And if I go to uh, the name, we can see that it has a CVE number and Opening it will lead to the actual CVE information page, which, which I can see is a Debian CVE. So what happened was that Microscanner failed the build because of the high severity vulnerability. Um, if we go back to see what a healthy pipeline looks like, uh, again, this is going to use the Alpine image that I showed you before. If I run a build, uh, we should be able to see that the Microscanner passed it. So there you have it. It's a very easy way to integrate vulnerability scanning into your build pipeline and also ensure that you don't have any high severity vulnerability images making it into your registry or being used elsewhere. Once again, you can get Microscanner on GitHub at aquasecurity slash microscanner. Uh, you need to get the token to activate it. And once you do, you can use the Jenkins plugin that we showed you today. Happy scanning.